Hello, this is Randall Root. In this video, we're going to look at Tableau Desktop. Tableau is a popular reporting software, and their market share has grown dramatically in the last couple of years. So, this demo will walk you through the process of getting a public edition copy and trying it out. First, you'll need to go through and find it on the internet. A simple search. on Tableau Public will help you. Then the link you want to uh, click on at this point would be the Download Tableau Public. And from there you can go ahead and click on the download app. You'll fill in your email address and they'll send you a link to how to get it downloaded. If you scroll down further on the page you'll see some interesting information about the public edition versus professional and personal. Public, of course, is free, and <clears throat> you actually get a, let's see, I think it's one gigabyte of space on their website where you can actually share your reports. Personal and professional are substantially more expensive. This is one of the downsides of using Tableau, is the price uh, per seat. $900 per user isn't much for a mid-sized or large company, but it's a bit much for a small company. Still, the software is pretty interesting, and once again, it's extremely popular. <clears throat> One of the other limitations that you need to be aware of is that the personal, oh, excuse me, the um, free copy, public copy, not personal, uh, is limited to what it can connect to. Still, it does connect to very common sources of data, such as uh, Microsoft Excel. Um, <clears throat> text files come with separate value files, probably the most common ones. But you can also get things from like OData. OData is a way of uh, um, transferring data via web services. And there's also uh, another option for data, other web data connections. You cannot connect directly to SQL Server. Most of my classes are using Microsoft SQL Server or some other database technology. In those cases, you can connect directly to them, but there is a workaround. Still, first thing you got to do is go ahead and download the software. Again, you'll fill out your information, you'll get the link, you click on it, you download it. Uh, once the file is downloaded, Let's see, it would, I'm not sure I have it downloaded in this particular interface, but once it was downloaded, there we go, it would uh, show up as a Microsoft installer file, and just double clicking on it and running it would allow you to go ahead and do the installation. Installation takes less than five minutes. So it doesn't take very long at all. Now, once it's installed, opening up the interface will look like this. Now, this video is made uh, beginning of end of 2015, beginning of 2016. So the interface, of course, will vary as time goes on. But it's uh, pretty straightforward. And the options are very clear. You want to connect to your data first, and then you can start making reports. There's not a whole lot of connection options, but there's enough. Interesting enough, Access wasn't listed on their web page, but as you can see, it's available there. Still, I don't do that much with uh, Access, so I'm going to go ahead and stick to text files and Excels, uh, Excel files for this demonstration. As I said, most of the time my classes involve using SQL, SQL Server. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to go ahead and open up SQL Server's Manager Studio and make a new query window. My goal is to pull some data out of SQL Server and put it into an Excel file or a text file so I can use the reporting features of Tableau. For this, I'll go ahead and pull some data in from Northwind. I'll use a drop-down box to select it. 
now I have the focus on it, I'll be able to right click and create myself a simple query in the Query Designer tool. For my needs, I'm going to create a products uh, report, a product sales report. So I'll choose categories, products, and order details. Yep, holding down the control button will allow me to choose all three tables. Hit the add button. The diagramming tool picks up the fact that there's a join, and now it's just a matter of selecting my columns. Category name, product name, unit price, and quantity are the ones I want. It doesn't write great code, but it writes code that's good enough. If you execute it, it will bring you back some report data. From here, I have a couple choices. I can click over here to select all, here being this corner. And uh, from there, I can right click and choose Save Results As. I'll go ahead and put it in my little Tableau folder. Actually, I think I had one there for the temporary stuff. Let's see. Tableau repository shows up under my documents. Now, this is the normal place that they have you put stuff. But for my needs, I don't have to put it there. I'll just go ahead and put it under class files. I've already made one of these earlier, so I'll go ahead and uh, delete that just to prove that we're getting fresh data. OK, now with data available, we're good to go. I also want to save, save this out as uh, Excel, just so I can show you that. So I'll right click once again and choose Copy with Headers. Again, I right clicked over here in the corner. With that in my clipboard, I open up Microsoft Excel. I locate the upper left hand corner of the spreadsheet and I just paste in my, my data. The advantage of this, as we will see later, is that the first row has the column names. Not a big difference, but uh, it is kind of nice. I'll save my workbook. Once again, I'll save it in the same spot. And I'll call it product sales X L S X. Okay, now I have two data sources I can use to work with Tableau. So I'll go ahead and minimize those now. And I'll come back into the Tableau interface. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and connect to a file. Let's start off with the simplest one. Uh, that is the text file. It's looking in the my documents, the Tableau repository, data sources. Again, you can place things there. There's nothing wrong with that. But it certainly doesn't have to be there. In my case, I put it under Tableau in a different folder. The fact that you can't see the Excel file is just because this drop-down box here is not showing all files. These other files in here, such as the ex extract files, that's Tableau workbook extract files. They are um, demonstrations that you can get from Tableau's website. They have a lot of learning videos up there on their website. Anyway, we're here for the CSV file, so I'll go ahead and select that and say open. The bottom pane includes tabs. First tab is the data source. The second one is a worksheet. You need to actually have some data for the worksheet to work with. So data source is probably the most important one to set up. And you'll notice here that I have data coming in, but the columns are field one, field two, three, and four. 
there was no actual column names in the CSV file. And as such, we didn't have anything, uh, any column names filled in. I can change that though. I can right click and rename and call it category. Product. This one looks like the sales price. And this one's a quantity. Now I have to know my data to understand that. Although the fact that I've it's guessed the the um, decimal point by looking at the data and realizing that it is indeed a decimal and not just an integer is kind of a giveaway. If it guessed wrong, I would be able to change it by just using the drop down box up here. Now with that, I can go back over to sheet one. When I clicked on it earlier, you may have seen that it said F1, F2, etc. But now it's got my new names. Making a report is pretty simple. All you have to do is go through and drag and drop. I'm going to say I want categories and products. They put some fake data in here just to make it fill out with something. And let's see. Oops, let's QTR doesn't make any sense. It was supposed to be QTY. I'll rename it again. If I go back over the data source, I can see that that actually is persistent on the multiple tabs. Also persistent is the layout I made. I'll go ahead and put column uh, quantity across the columns. It'll automatically make me a default report. If I don't like that particular report, I can always change it. Some of these are grayed out because they won't work with the, uh, the way my data is currently laid out. But as you can see, there's quite a variety here. If you don't like them, you can customize it more. The Default behavior is highlighted in blue. This is what it surmises will be a good choice for the data you've placed in here. You can see that it also has little uh, lines that break it up into individual products. In general, using interface is fun and intuitive. By placing the, both the quantity and the sales price in here, I can see new, two new outcomes. If you wish to have more, you can do so by going through and creating a new worksheet, a new dashboard, or a new story. Again, the Tableau website has lots of instructions on how to work with these various different items. Let's uh, try a different data source. I'm going to come back over here, click on data source, and I'm going to go ahead and change my data source here. The plus, and tell it to connect to Excel. It remembers the folder that you came from last time. you notice that this time, my worksheet gets picked up and <clears throat> I have the uh, category name, product name, unit price, and quantity all filled in for me. Again, because that was um, part of the definition of inside of the Excel worksheet when I copied it from Management Studio. Oh, once again, the data source shows up here, and I can start working with my reports. You notice that um, the product sales report has this icon. 
little check mark there indicating that is what I've connected to. That's the, the um, CSV file. The worksheet here is a possible data source, but I'm currently not using it. There are ways of actually adding multiple data sources to the uh, same uh, worksheet here, the report sheet. But uh, I'm not going to go into that. I'm just going to go ahead and use my second sheet over here and choose to work with sheet one, which is, I'm going to go ahead and rename it as Excel sheet one. And I'll choose that. Actually, I guess I don't need to choose that. I just need to highlight that and use it. You can see the little use icon now is showing that that is the primary source. Adding in the measures names just made it so that it shows up here at the top. Just like previously, I, no matter whether I'm using a CSV file or an Excel spreadsheet, I can go ahead and customize a report with all kinds of different uh, styles. There's so much more you can do in Tableau, but this will give you a pretty good idea about how it can be used for free alongside of SQL Server. And again, for many of my students, that's an important feature. There is a 14-day trial as a 14 day trial of um, that you can download a full version of uh, Tableau and use it. But of course, 14 days goes by really quickly. So you may want to think if you want to learn, uh, think about using the public edition if you want to get started learning Tableau. And in as of today, at uh, this point in time, I should say, uh, beginning of 2016, learning Tableau is not a bad way to go. It's probably worth your time. Okay, that's it. Hopefully you found this uh, video instructful, uh, inst <laughs> instructional, instructful, helpful and instructional. There we go. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.